let's do some testing. All right, so forward turns the forward on. Let's turn the reverse. Make sure it works exactly like our ladder logic version, right? So we cannot turn our reverse on. Let's turn the stop. Okay. Let's turn on the reverse. So the reversing contactor comes on. Let's let's try to turn our forward button on. Okay, that doesn't work, right? Just like it should. If the if the for, uh, reversing starter's on, the forward shouldn't come on. If the forward's on, the reversing shouldn't come on. All right. So in this video, what we're going to do is a forward and reversing starter, and we're going to do this in structure text and ladder logic. So we're going to show both versions inside of this video. And so what I've done so far is um, I've opened up CodeSys and I've uh, created a program. I have no visualization yet, so we're going to build that. Uh, I did add the variables to save time, so we've already put the variables in both of the uh, programs. Now, um, in the the actual program right here, let's actually do the ladder logic first. Okay, so we're going to come into our ladder logic, and we're going to add a rung. Right, we're going to come in and come into our uh, ladders, and we're going to add in. A negated contact to begin with and we're going to call this the stop push button all right so this is forward and reversing starter so we want to have this acting just as a forward and reversing starter um, and the controls for such right so we're going to come in here at this we're going to add in our coil we're going to add in the, another negate and what we're going to do is this is going to be the forward contact real simple this is going to be the actual forward button now we want to kind of have this seal in like a ceiling circuit so let's go ahead and add a parallel circuit right here and let's have the coil which is going to be the forward contactor now I'm gonna add in another uh, ladder which is insert uh, network below and then we're going to do the same exact thing. We can almost kind of copy and paste this. So we're going to use the stop uh, button again. All right. So we're going to come in here, add our structure again. So we have our um, contact. We have a negated contact. We have a coil. We're going to add these in here. And then we're going to add our parallel circuit down here just for a seal in. So again, this, so this is going to be our reversing uh, let's see reverse push button and this is going to be our reversing contact contactor and this is reversing contactor all right and then what we're going to do here is we're going to add in the reversing contactor here and the forward contacting here so that they cannot work at the same time so this is the way it would work for a uh, for the actual ladder ladder logic now we can add that down here, right? Add object, program call, add in our ladder logic, add in ladder logic. So it's, it is adding to this uh, scannable program right now. And then we can make our visualization. Now in our visualization, what we can do is really simple, have our, a couple buttons. So we'll have a push button here and I'm gonna have a just copy that paste copy paste have another one and then one more alright so with this said <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna have let's just let's just actually align these up properly so hold the shift key and then align these just like that alright so uh, we're gonna have this as a forward and reverse forward and reverse our forward and reverse and stop and then we need to have our lights for our contacts um, in the lights we're gonna have I'm gonna put these as blue just because that's one well, I don't know personally that's just one of my favorite colors as far as not favorite colors but in this environment I think it looks it just looks better than green for some reason that's just me um, all right so we'll line these up Alright, so let's just co come over here and now let's add in a couple features. We haven't tagged anything yet, so let's go ahead and do, do that. But we're going to first put in a couple features as far as our 
our labels. So we're gonna call this a Ford PB. All right. <clears throat> now I like to format this first so that I can copy and paste it, and then that way it saves a little bit of time when you're you're doing animation, you're doing things. Uh, so let's put this in here, Ford. All right. So that's there. Let's line this up properly. All right. So copy, paste. Control C, Control V. That's what I've been using, and this will be our reverse. So reverse. <clears throat> reverse PB and this one and down at the very bottom is going to be so let's copy this control C control V at the very bottom and this is going to be our stop okay so that's going to be our stop now I like to kind of line these up a little bit better just to kind of get them you know where they're and all right, so now we have this in here. Let's actually add a couple more things. Uh, let's do this as the, and we're gonna call this the Ford contactor. All right, so that's there. And let's change the font size. It's a little too big for what we're doing. Let's change the font size a little bit. All right, that's better. And then, yeah, that's that's good. So we can understand what that is. That's all we're really trying to get at. And this would be the reverse. All right, reverse. All right. So what we have, and we'll just line these up a little bit better. All right. So now we need to come back and tag these. All right, so we have this in the ladder logic, which is in our scan scannable program right now. Put that in there. All right, so this will be the tag for the actual reverse. This will be our tag for our actual stop push button. And this will be for our forward contactor. This will be for our reversing contactor. All right, reversing contactor. All right, so that's done. And what we can do is go ahead and build this to compile it. And we're gonna go ahead and test our ladder logic and then we're gonna come back and do a structured text version. And that's gonna be actually a little bit simpler. Let's turn on the simulate and let's go to login. We're gonna download. Yes, this is going to download. So we can do our testing uh, via the simulate. Uh, basically using the visualization with simulating all right so we want to make sure all this is working properly so all right with this we want to go to debug start the debug get this out here where we can see it all right <clears throat> all right so now if I hit the start button now if I hit the reverse it doesn't do anything because we're blocking it just like I just showed, we're blocking it right now because it's sealed in. Now if I hit the stop button, it stops. And then we can reverse it. Now again, I can't hit the forward button because it's not going to do anything because the reverse starter is on. You see the way that works? Now with that said, I hit the stop button. So you have to hit the stop button every time, right? And the stop button's on so I can't push any of them on right now. So now if I come over here and I got the four button on, it turns on. So just like a stop button, stop push button, right? So forward reverse. So all of it seems to be working properly. And notice if we keep a button on, it doesn't do anything, right? So that's that's a good thing to have. Alright, so let's go ahead now that we've tested that out and everything works, let's go ahead and build our let's go ahead and turn this off and let's do our structure text version. Let's get this back in the center. Let's do our structure text version of this. That way you can see how this works. Now, um, what we can do is come over here and do the uh, input assistant. And we want to use our structure text version of this. So we have this right here. So notice we're not in our application. So close that down. And we'll come over here and do the contactor. 
forward contactor is going to equal and then we're going to say brackets and we're going to say not not stop so we're going to come in here and say not stop And let's, let's blow this up so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so not stop. And close one of the brackets. And we're going to say forward contactor, our forward push button. Say forward push button. Or forward contactor, because we want to keep it on. We want to have it maintain on, right? Or the forward contactors on close that and not reversing contactor pretty sure by now you kind of guess what I was gonna kind of actually put in there reversing contactor all right so then we'll close that off and then down here we're gonna have the reversing contactor okay so this is gonna be the reversing contactor let's put that there equals two brackets not the stop so and that's the stop push button so we will re-tag our actual visualization okay so let's put that in there and this is going to be the reverse button right here reverse button or the contactor right or the contactor let's close that off and not and then we're going to come in here and say reversing contactor or forward contactor and not forward contactor all right so let's close and actually let's make sure you have a, the right amount of close brackets or right amount of uh, brackets around everything so we close that off and that's our statement that is basically our code for our structured text now let's change our visualization to match this um, so we got to change it from <clears throat> being tagged from the actual uh, ladder logic to the actual structure text version. So we want to come in here and do our forward, and then we'll come in here and do our reversing, do our stop button. Instead of a stop button, it's just called a stop in, our, in that program, which is good to, to kind of see it tag different so you can verify it in your head that that that's currently what it is um, you know so then we'll do this is a reversing contactor alright so now let's build so we're gonna run this program to verify it does the exact same thing as the the ladder logic version alright so let's go ahead and download the code download we're gonna log in and with download <coughs> alright so now that's good come over here and let's go to our debug alright so we'll pull our visualization down and let's change the the size and again we want to change the size so you can see it so let's change that alright so now we have this let's do some testing alright so forward turns the forward on let's turn the reverse Make sure it works exactly like our ladder logic version, right? So we cannot turn our reverse on. Let's turn the stop. Okay. Let's turn on the reverse. So the reversing contactor comes on. Let's let's try to turn our forward button on. Okay, that doesn't work, right? Just like it should. If the if the for, uh, if reversing starter's on, the forward shouldn't come on. If the forward's on, the reversing shouldn't come on. Or even uh, acknowledge a command to come on. All right, so we want to hit the stop button to make sure that the con both contactors are in safe state and then turn that on. Now, this is just general controls, right? Naturally, you would have uh, hardwire circuits as well, well on this to make sure that everything does accordingly, right? You don't want to have everything trusted with electronics or with a software because it's just as, it's just as simple as a, a typing error that, that would you know cause a problem. We're all humans and we're all subject to make mistakes. So coding is very much a uh, part of, you know, doing due, your due diligence and testing what you do is, is really, really highly valuable. And the more you can do that, the better you are, right? And I think the more you do that, the more successful your coding or your 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 machines will run, right? And, and the things that you're doing will run. 
Um, so anyway, so this works exactly like our actual ladder logic. That's what we wanted, right? So I just wanted to show that and how that worked. Because again, we're looking at our forward contactor is currently true, but it's looking at these statements and the way it's written out, right? So we're just looking at the values and we're saying, very simply, we're not even using an if then else statement. We're just saying, hey, oh, by the way, this is going to be equal to this. And then, oh, by the way, this is going to be equal to this. Now we could have wrote a, um, a basically if then else statement, but just as simple as doing standard ladder logic, we can just write the statement out and it works in the code system environment. So just keep that in mind. So structure text doesn't have to always be a if then else statement, but it can be if, if you, you know, choose it to be, or you can use a while do, or you can use a for do. I mean, you can use a lot of different variables. So just understand the way things are done and really open up your eyes to what is the best implementation of what I'm trying to do. And what we're trying to do here, uh, standard ladder logic. Again, this is not running the off the ladder logic code. You don't see any of these bits coming on. So just make sure you know that we have coded this to make sure make sure it works with this. So you can actually see these bits come on. Um, you can see all the values and stuff coming on. So um, with all that said, hopefully you got a lot out of that and uh, you've seen the a good version of that with the uh, ladder logic and a good version of that with structure text and the way we're actually testing that and make sure that they both work fluently in the exact same way. So with all that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.